That is Nevin with Disket, coming to you again with Cooking Outdoors has never been better. Our sponsor disc of the day is United States Marine Corps. For all you jarhead leathernecks out here like me, coming to bring you a special design to commemorate the United States Marine Corps. Semper Fi. Today we're going to cook something special with some ground beef, some onions, and some red and green bell peppers. We're going to go ahead and start our disket by pushing in the knob, rotating the left, and ignition. Ignition. Now because ground beef itself generally tends to have quite a bit of oil in it, we don't have to add anything to this food, into this mixture here. Now for all you leathernecks out there, you'll know that this is going to be a lot tastier than an MRE after three, four days out in the field. For those of you who don't know what an MRE is, thank a Marine Corps veteran. Now this particular ground beef is a little bit uh, leaner than, uh, than we'd like, so there's not quite a whole lot of oils in it as it is. Back to the disket itself again, it generally cooks pretty quickly, depending on how you have the burner set up on the temperature range. I want to brown this thing up a little bit, make sure I have everything ready on my vegetables. You can see here, we finally diced some green bell peppers and some red bell peppers. I'm going to put a little bit more red in there, but again, it's just for color. Diced up some white onions pretty nicely. Another thing we had here, too, got some homemade salsa. Coming to you on a uh, disket recipe video here pretty soon. It'll be how to make homemade salsa. Cooking this thing up here. I'm back in the core. You're on the field for seven, eight, ten days at a time. You haven't seen a warm meal. All you leathernecks that know what it's like to eat nothing but MREs at 2,000 calories a serving. What it's like when you finally do get a hot meal. Memories. <laughs> now this ground beef here, as it starts to brown, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Again, I like to use a sea salt. A little bit coarser, a little bit healthier. I'm going to add a little bit of this Montreal steak seasoning just for some additional flavors. I like to add some extra garlic. Nice. And some salt. Oh, I'm sorry, I already put sea salt, as you were. So those of you as uh, Marines know what as you were means. Getting this thing mixed up. This is a pretty simple, quick, easy meal. Again, all you do is ground beef, get that cooked up real well. When that's done, you put the vegetables in. The best way to serve this thing is in a flour tortilla as a burrito. Click to get in, get out, get done. Now we'll also, I know we're talking about the Marine Corps disket design itself. Again, a little bit biased on that deal, being a former Marine myself. But uh, we also have, so far, the Combat Infantry Battalion of the U.S. Army. We have the United States Air Force design. We're working on a uh, Navy design, a Coast Guard design. So we're going to get all the branches. We can also specify a custom disket with your particular, perhaps, military badge, your service expertise, MOS, as they call it in the Corps. So we can do all that stuff. We've done M16 service rifles. Uh, we can do everything from a fixed bayonet, whatever kind of design you want on that. Another disket design we have for remembering our troops is the POW MIA disket, which has already been a very popular design. You can see that and a lot of our other diskets by going to our pattern sections of the website. Uh, being, uh, being a former Marine, we always like to thank other military veterans and those families who have been through everything to help us be free to cook and free to manufacture a product, be part of this great, great country. Now, what's neat about the disket again, as I move this food over the side, I can put the hamburger meat up to the side of the disc itself, and you can watch any of the, the grease from the hamburger oil, the hamburger meat, get out of there. 
I try to pull some of that out. I use a paper towel, and with that, uh, with that fat collecting in the center, I'm gonna sop it all up with a paper towel. Throw that in the trash. And you get a, see a decent look at that there. This meat itself has plenty of moisture to cook the rest of those vegetables in, so I want to get as much fat of it out as possible. Nice. So you can see now, you gotta be careful, this thing may get hot. Instead of putting that in your food, get rid of all that fat. Now move that back in there. All that hamburger meat, now we got all of that fat out of there. And I had all my veggies. I told you earlier we got green and red bell peppers, some onions. Veggies are cooked real quickly. I've already cut up some homegrown green chili. Add that to the center and start warming that up. Now that green chili is chopped up pretty finely. Got a little bit of garlic and salt in it. Mmm, if you can only smell that. Oh wow. Now this is an MRE, meal ready to eat. Nice. Spice it up a little bit more. I've got the green chili. I'm gonna add some that homemade salsa. Look at that. Cook that right up into it. Oh wow. Then I'll add a little bit of shredded cheese on top of that. Warm the tortillas around the outside. Cooking just about done. All I'm going to do is heat some tortillas. Shredded cheese. Look at the colors in that. Now you don't get a meal like this at Bivouac. For those of you who know what bivouac is, and there it is, Disket. Remembering to thank our veterans, Marine Corps and all. Semper Fi, cooking outdoors never been better.